Okay, so here is our first routine, our demo. We have no value for the mount. She has a full turn, which is an A. The back handspring layout, B to C, one tenth combination. The side aerial, a D for one tenth for the D. And then she does a split jump to a little B jump, so B to A. So we did break the side aerial to the split jump. Um, then she attempts to switch half, which we gave it the E, but took two tenths for the insufficient split and uh, maybe possibly even an O5 for height. And then she fell. So she obviously doesn't have the, um, get the E. Um, then she does a back tuck for a C. And then the attempt at, I'm thinking she was attempting a split three quarter. Uh, we gave it a split quarter um, and called it a B and then she fell. And then the round off one and a half dismount B to C. We have two A's, four B's, two C's. She has one tenth in CV and one tenth in D. So we have a nine seven start. Um, we have an up to the level for dance. Um, she needs three C's, which we did not give uh, three C's. And then she did have three acro elements and her dismount was in combination. So she didn't have anything there. Um, we did take some rhythm and dynamics, um, footwork definitely, and some artistry. Our score range was a 7.0 to a 7.2. So somewhere if you're in the low sevens, I think you're pretty good with two falls. So our execution was 2.1 to 2.3. Routine number one, we have her mount was an A. Um, she has the back handspring layout step out for the plus one combination. She does the D, front toss for the D plus one. She does the little beat jump to the straddle half, which we gave a plus one, plus she gets the one for the D. Um, she does another straddle half that starts sideways. Uh, that is a D as well. And then a full turn A and a round off one and a half. So she has two tenths in combination and three tenths in D. The one thing I wanted to bring up is the A to D that she did the B jump with the straddle half. So you really have to pay attention as to whether you gave something a split or a straddle because the split half is a C and the straddle half is a D. So she was sideways. We actually even slowed it down just to make sure, even though you don't have that luxury, but just to prove that she was sideways. She was completely in that nice straddle position when she did that half. So, so she does have a 10-0 star. She has three A's, two B's, two C's. 
Um, we did take an O5 in acro because she's she only has the two saltos, so she is missing the third one. She does have um, the two Ds, so she is sufficient for her leaps. And her dismount was in combination, so that was sufficient as well. Um, we did take a concentration pause, a two-tenth one before the back handspring layout step out, and a one-tenth one also uh, before the dismount, the round off one and a half. Um, I think that you could have possibly taken one before the side straddle jump as well. The, the one that she did by itself. She kind of hesitated and moved her feet. Uh, it is a little bit of a discussion as to when we actually start that concentration pause. But if you feel that she has been concentrating and she's just kind of moving around a little bit just because she's you know nervous about doing that skill, you may want to consider that concentration pause. So we did take rhythm throughout. We thought she was just a little slow and in getting in, into and out of her combinations. We took an 05 in footwork and an 05 in artistry. Um, we have 1.1 to 1.3 in execution. Um, and our score was 8.4 to 8.65. So team number two, we have an A mount. She does the front toss for the D, um, a full turn, the back handspring allows step out for plus one, the switch leap, switch leap for plus two, a um, little side straddle jump for a D, and the round off uh, double full dismount for a B, C. Um, we did take two tenths on the front toss. She was a little height and balance. We had an 05 on the an 05 to one on the layout step out. Um, the switch switch we took an 05 on the first one and 05 to one on the second. Obviously she, she had kind of bent over on that um, side straddle half, so we took a two and a half to three on that, and then um, the dismount she's a little bit of pipe down and a little bit of a step. So she's two A's, two B's, four C's. She does have three tenths in combination and two tenths in D. She has a 10-0 start. Um, we have nothing in dance as she does do CCD for her dance. She does, we did take an 05 in acro because she has the front toss and the back, uh, the back hands ring loud step out. Those two were the only two saltos that she had. And then her dismount was in combina combination. So we didn't have anything there. We did take a little bit of footwork on her. Um, I did have a question um, prior in another um, session that we did and someone had asked me about her body posture. And I think that the reason they asked is because of the big, the major, some, she had some major um, balance errors. So don't confuse body posture and the routine with balance errors. So I just kind of wanted to mention that. So our execution was uh, 0.8 to 1.0, and our score range was 8.9 to 9.1.
Okay, routine number three. So she has a mount with no value. She has an A, full turn, uh, back handspring, loud step out um, is the for one tenth combination. She has the front tuck to the beat jump that we did give the combination. Um, and it, she does get the E to A one tenth, and then she does get the two tenths for the E. Um, she does one pivot turn. Uh, she does switch leap, switch leap, and then a cartwheel to the gainer full dismount off the side. So we did take a tenth on the full turn. We took a little balance and relevé on that. Um, we have a tenth on our bent legs on her back handspring and um, 0.15 to 0.2 on the layout step out for legs and height. The front tuck was low, so we took the squat and height, so 0.2 to 0.3 for that. Um, a little 05 on the little beat jump for flexed feet. For switch leaps, uh, insufficient split and bent knee, so 0.2 to 0.25 for each of those. And then a little um, bent knees on the cartwheel to the gainer full dismount. We did take height on the gainer full so, and a little bit of body, so we have um, 0.1 to 0.15 on that. Um, so she has four tenths in combination. Um, she does have the E for the two tenths. So she does get the plus one because she did, the E was an acro and she has the six tenths total in bonus. So we have one tenth in dance because all she had were the two C switch leaps. We have an O5 in acro because all she had was the C and the E and an O5 in dismount because the cartwheel was an A and not a B. Um, so for that combination. So our execution was 1.35 to 1.65, and we did take rhythm, dynamics, footwork, and artistry on her, and our range was 8.1 to 8.4 with the additional bonus. So 8.0 to 8.3, and then adding the plus one, 8.1 to 8.4. Okay, routine number four. We hope that you all caught that she did not have a flight series. So she's missing that special requirement. But so her mount is an A. She does the backward roll, which is an A. She does the front aerial and falls and gets up and does the back tuck, which obviously was supposed to be her flight series. Um, switch leap, switch leap. She has uh, two tenths for that combination. Um, she does the full turn for an A and the front toss for a D. We did not give it a pike. Um, really, that is your judgment call, but we thought that the majority of the um, skill had her bent knees um, towards the last half, so we called it a D. And then the gainer off the end 
um, is a C. So we did take a little on the front aerial um, for not completely finishing it. So 0, 05 to one plus the fall. Uh, we did take um, one tenth plus the fall on the back tuck. The switch leap, switch leap, we took a little bit of height on each one and a little insufficient split. So um, one tenth on each of the switch leaps. The full turn, we did take two for balance. Um, and then the front toss, she had a balance error and we did take a little bit of height. So we have, oh, um, I'm sorry, 0.15 to 0.2 on that. And then the, the gainer dismount off the end, we do have a 10th on that. So she has three A's, no B's, four C's. She is missing again, her flight series. She has two tenths in um, combination bonus on the switch leap, switch leap. She does have one D, but she fell in the D, so she doesn't get credit for that. So we have a nine three start value. We took one tenth in dance for only the CC. She has two tenths in acro since she did not do a flight series at all. And we do have the one tenth in dismount since she did the single skill C dismount. So we have execution of 1.4 to 1.75. We have rhythm dynamics, footwork and artistry on her as well. And our score range was six, nine to seven, two. Okay, routine number five, we have um, no value for her amount. We have a handspring layout step out for the plus one combination, the full turn for an A, the uh, split half for a D. Um, she does the little front toss to the scale, which is an E, and they are allowed to take that little bit of time to get there. Um, the switch leap, switch leap for two tenths, and um, the cartwheel to the full dismount. So we took the 10th concentration pause before the um, flight series. And we do have a 0.1 to 0.15 for little legs and balance on that. The full turn, we didn't take anything. On the split half, we took a 1 10th for height and insufficient split. And we did take a little bit of rhythm on that front toss or the, yeah, the front toss to the scale. The switch leap, switch leap, we have 0.1 to 0.15 on each of them. So we didn't have height, very much height, and we did have insufficient split on those. And then the cartwheel to the full dismount, we took a little bit of height and her little step on her landing there. So about a 0.15 for that. So she's good on her dance. She was good on her acro. And her dismount, we do have 05 because she did the D to the B. She has one A, two Bs, three Cs. She does get an E for that. So she has that extra 10th. So she has three tenths in connected value, two D, tenths in Ds and two tenths in E. Um, and our execution was 0.95 to 1.15. And with the plus one bonus, we have an eight, nine to a nine, one.
Okay, last routine, mount, no value. Um, full turn A, back hand spring B to lay out step out C, one tenth in combination, front toss for the D. Uh, switch leap, switch leap, which does not get any bonus for since she fell. And then she does the little beat jump to the split jump, which is A to B, and the back handspring to the one and a half dismount B to C. So um, we did take uh, nothing to 05 on the full turn. Um, we did take an 05 on the layout step out. We did have height and the two steps afterwards. So we had 0.1 to 0.15 in height and then two tenths for the steps afterwards on the front toss. For switch, switch, we have 0.15 to 0.2 on each one. The beat jump, we have an 05 for feet and on the split jump, one tenth. And then we have a little height and step on the landing. So one and one on that, on the, the dismount as well. So she has the one tenth in combination and one D. Um, so we have a nine, seven start, two A's, three B's, four C's. She is missing an 05. She has CCB for dance, so that is 05. Um, and she is missing the third acro, so it's an 05 for that, and she's fine in her dismount. We did take some dynamics and footwork and artistry on her. So our execution was 1.55 to 1.85, and our score was a 7.6 to a 7.9.